What is up, BookTube? It is Monty, and today I'm here to talk about all of the authors that I've been loving so far in the year 2020. This was a video that I believe Monet from Life is Monet. I think she tagged some people in that video. If I'm thinking of a different video, then that video isn't going to get made. I'm making this one. But she put out a video a couple of weeks ago talking about all of the authors that she's been reading lately, that she's really loved and appreciated. And I just wanted to come here and do the same thing because why not? So the first author I'm going to talk about is Rosie Nixon, who wrote The Stylist, which is sort of like a take on Devil Wears Prada, but it's completely different and I think a much better read and far more enjoyable to read than The Devil Wears Prada was as a book. So we follow a stylist who is working at like an upscale boutique in London and a famed uh, stylist, The Stylist, comes into this boutique and is like, you know what, I want you, you're going to come work with me during award season and all of this shit that goes down during that award season where the assistant is like saving the day. And it was a great read, I loved it. There is a sequel to this one, it's called The Stylist Takes Manhattan. And I believe Rosie Nixon has another book coming out that's unrelated to the stylist universe. So she's out here doing the thing and you love to see it. Next, I have Sarah Liu. I've been pronouncing her name wrong all year, I feel so bad, but it's Sarah Liu. And she wrote The Best Lies. This is hands down one of the best books of 2019 and I'm so mad that I didn't get to read it until this year. But if you haven't checked it out, it gives me major 13 vibes. Like, you know, the old school Nikki Reed movie with Katherine Hardwick that she made. Excellent. It's about a toxic friendship. Um, there's a dead boyfriend. You'll love to see it. Next was Cameron Lund, whose debut was sent to me by Penguin Team, uh, The Best Laid Plans. This is about an 18 year old uh, high school senior falling for her co-worker at, I believe it's like a video rental place, um, but there's also like a friends to lovers uh, love triangle situation going on at the same time, and I found it was really, it was, it's just fun. It was a fun read, it made me happy when I was reading it, and I think that you should definitely check it out. Next up on this list is going to be More Than Maybe by Erin Hahn, which is not her debut, it's her sophomore novel. This one takes place in Michigan, it's, uh, sort of like a friends to lovers type situation it, acquaintances to lovers might be the better better term here where the love interests both are they're not co-workers but they definitely work in the same space and they go to school together it's a high school romance i think they're both seniors in this one as well and um they get partnered up for like a senior project and uh it's just real cute it was wholesome it made me laugh and smile and make me feel warm and fuzzy inside and I do plan to go back and read You'd Be Mine. I think that's the name of the first book that Aaron Hahn wrote. Again, I think that one's also dealing with music. So if you're looking for sort of cute contemporaries, both of those are major hits. Next, I have one that's a little bit harder hitting, and that is Stay Goals. So Tolby McSmith, that was probably, it's kind of, de it might be my favorite debut of the year. Um, that book just like really hit me. I really enjoyed the romance element. I really liked how realistic it felt and never, it wasn't like aspirationally um, cute. It was just like, I really appreciate these characters together and the journey they went on. This one does have some trigger warnings for some violence aimed at a trans main character, but the author himself was a trans man and I don't really feel like it's my place to critique that part. So. I personally really enjoyed that the book as a whole um, and overall I think that it was just really well done and it's definitely one of the best contemporaries of the year. And then the last author that I've been really loving this year is Ginny Lee, author of Anna Kay, which I understand was kind of, um, I don't want to say controversial at the beginning of the year, but there was definitely some mixed reception to Anna Kay. But I think that if you are like me, who is always um, disappointed in books that tell you they're going to be um, sort of Gossip Girl inspired or Gossip Girl esque, Anna Kay hits that nail on the head. It is by far and away my favorite read of 2020. The writing style in this one is immaculate. It is like low key, it's like low key literary fiction vibes, but it's it, it it's it's amazing. I honestly I I cannot believe that it took me so long to read it. Um, and I definitely think it was almost my first pick for the Choices Book Club. And then I figured that a lot of people already read Anna Kay, so I went with Parachutes instead, which uh, at the time of recording this, I haven't read yet. But if you haven't read Anna Kay, I definitely recommend it. I think that Jenny Lee is an amazing author. I am cautiously optimistic about the follow-up Anna Kay Away, but I will for certain 
be looking forward to anything that Jenny Lee writes. So let me know down in the comment section below what are some of your favorite authors that are new to you or you've read more of this year. And I, I look forward to that. If you made it this far into the video, make sure you leave this emoji down in my comment section. And I'll see you guys again next time. But until then, bye.